Anisha, what is your roll number? Anisha. Anisha, what is your roll number I'm asking? If you are not ready to tell your roll number means it will be absent. I will, it will be considered as absent one day. Anisha? Yes, sir. What is your roll number? 10. Then why you have changed this format? Okay, sir. Huh? Okay, sir. Change, rename it now. Okay, so we have already started the Wilson bridge. Yesterday I told that one, the bridge will be balanced if the potential difference between A to D and A to C will be equal or the voltage drop across the BD and BC will be equal. Then the bridge is said to be balanced. The no current will flow through the galvanometer here. Now it is null detection. We are going to call that one. I'll switch on the camera. Still some papers. <clears throat> okay, so this part we have already discussed that one in the previous class here. Now, this all the things we have discussed. Actually, the point is we have waited for the where you have stopped this equations we have stopped over there so here in the explanation we have understood that this is the galvanometer that is null detector we are going to call if the potential difference between ad and ac is equal or bd and bc is equal then the bridge is said to be balanced on that condition this is no current will flow here. It will act as an open circuit here. So the same I1 current will flow through the Q also and same I2 current will flow through the S also. Here. Only one current it will flow here. One current will flow through this one here. Now it acts as A to B that is one parallel path. A to B another ACB is one parallel path. ADB is one parallel path. It is going to act like that. So what do you do? We have to do the derivation we have to derive now. So for that derivation, So, for the bridge balance condition, we can write the equation. What we will tell that one? If the bridge is balanced, just a minute, I will take the writer here. Now, 
if the bridge is balanced on that condition this part is we have to remove from bridge is nothing but current flowing through this part will be zero so it act as open circuit it act as open circuit so what we can say that on that condition see here the potential difference across this and across this is equal then the bridge is said to be balanced we have called that one. the bridge is said to be balanced here now here we will consider as v v1 and this one as v2 we can consider here now. what is the formula for voltage according to ohm's law voltage equal to v equal to ir v equal to ir what is the current here now i1 i1 into resistance p yes so i1 into p that is called v1 we can call that one here i will write if the i told that one potential difference between this and this will be equal means v1 equal to v2 we can write v1 equal to v2 so from this one we can write v1 equal to i1 p we will write v1 equal to i1 p equal to v2 equal to the product of current and resistance this one i2 into r here no i2 into r we can write here no i2 into r we can write here no. so under this condition this one i will consider as equation number one i will consider this one if the bridge is balanced then null detection is there so current flowing through this point will be zero on that condition here the current i1 is flowing here no up to this point i1 will flow here no when the current is flowing zero here then all the i1 current will flow through the q resistance also yes or no the same i1 will flow through the q also na i am waiting for your response yes sir so yes sir addition what you can write i1 equal to i3 you can tell that one i1 equal to i3 here no so i1 equal to i3 so what you can tell that one here i1 equal to i3 we can write under the balance condition i1 equal to i3 i1 equal to i3 we can write here i will write here and in the second condition here i2 is flowing here no here the bridge balance condition then no current will flow here no same current will flow through here no so this i2 and i4 both are equal again so and i2 equal to i4 we can write here no i2 equal to i4 we can write here no so 18 29 so according to ohms law i equal to what according to ohms law i equal to what formula i equal to v by r yes or no yes sir according to ohms law i equal to v by r so can anyone tell me what is the formula for i1 here no this one is removed here no this part is open circuit so can anyone tell me what is the formula for i1 any one of you i1 equal to what you are not getting the point then see here the same diagram at balanced condition i will draw somewhere here no i will draw can i draw here i will take the darker line now i will draw here just see carefully see this one at a balanced condition what i will consider here one resistance here one resistance next here one resistance here one resistance and this one i will use as this is e here now this is e this is p this is q this is r this is s here so the current flowing through p is i1 current flowing through the q is i3 
current flowing through the R is I2. Current flowing through the S is I4 here. Can anyone tell me the formula for I1 here now? What is the formula for this one I1? Here the I is there. So it is a parallel circuit or series circuit it is. These two branches are parallel or series? Parallel. Parallel. Parallel circuit, the voltage will become same or current will become same? Voltage become same. Voltage will become same here now. So the voltage drop across this equal to E only we are going to call here. And the second branch voltage drop across this one will also E only here now. So E1 equal to E2 equal to E for the parallel circuit here now. So according to Ohm's law, I equal to V by R. I equal to V by R only we are going to use. What do you mean by voltage here now? Voltage is nothing but E. We can use I1 equal to E, E divided by, what is the resistance here now? These two P and Q are in series or parallel now? Series. Series. So series. P plus Q, you can write total resistance of yes, e divided by P plus Q. E divided by P plus Q. So that is called I1 equal to I4. We can, sorry, I3 equal to I1 equal to I3 equal to E divided by P plus Q. We can write here. Now. Same formula we have written here. Same formula I have written. I1 equal to I3 equal to E divided by P plus Q here. So the voltage drop across this point is E1. We can call that one as E1 actually. This voltage drop across this point is E2. We are going to call that one. For the underbalanced condition, E1 equal to E2 equal to E. We can use that. So I2 equal to I4 equal to E divided by R plus S. Similarly, we can write here now. Similarly, we can write here now. If you have any doubts up to this point? Up no, this sir. Point. No, sir. Then what you'll do, E is nothing but EMF of the battery or battery supply, we can call that one here now. Combining equation one, two, and three, simplifying here. What you have to do, here I1 is there, in the equation one, here I2 is there. In the place of this I1, you substitute this value here. E divided by P plus Q substitute here. I will erase this template. Huh? We'll take the small number here. So, so in the place of I1, what I will do, I will substitute this E divided by P plus Q. P plus Q, I will substitute here. And this P as it is, I will write here. P as it is, I will write. Next, in the place of I2, I will substitute this one here. E divided by E divided by R plus yes, R plus yes. I'll substitute here and this R I will keep as it is here. See here now. Here also LHS, RHS side E is there. Here also RHS side E is there. E will get cancelled. Yes, yes. This will get cancelled. This will get cancelled. Just a minute. Okay. So P divided by P plus Q equal to R divided by R plus S here now. These two will get here now. So by simplifying one and two equation, two and three, substituting in equation number one and simplifying the equation, we will get this answer here. Now. P divided by P plus Q equal to R divided by R plus S. Next, what do we have to do? We have to Rearrange the equation here now. I will send into RHS side. This will become it will multiply into R. This one I will send into LHS side. It will become P into R plus S here equal to R into P plus Q. It will become like that here. Now. P into R plus S plus equal to R plus R into P plus Q. Substitute multiply that one. P into R that is called PR plus plus symbol plus symbol. P into S, that is called PS, equal to, equal to R into P, that is called PR, plus R into Q, that is called QR. You can write like this here. See here, here LHS side PR is there, 
RHS side also PR is there. The LHS side, RHS side will send into LHS side, it will become minus PR. Yes? Uh, yes LHS side you send into RHS side, it will become minus PR. So plus and minus, what will happen? This two will get cancelled. So PS equal to QR, the formula will be left here. PS equal to QR, or QR equal to PS here. No. So this is one resistance, this is one resistance, this is one resistance. All four resistances, it consists here now. How many re resistances are in this circuit? Four. four resistances. So what we can write, this is well-known expression for the balance of Wilson bridge here now. This is the equation for balance bridge. If three of the resistances are known in this one, P, Q, and R, these are the known resistance, then yes, we can identify by using this one. Our P, Q, yes is known value. A value is known. R calculation is easy. From this one, we can write R equal to P, B, S, P, P, S divided by Q here now. R equal to P, S divided by Q. You can write like this. So this is the equation for the balanced equation. That is called R equal to P S, yes, sorry, P by Q into S, R, P S equal to Q R, we can remember that one. This is the underbalanced condition we are going to equation here. How we can remember this one? These two opposite resistance you have to remember. P S equal to Q R. Yes, P S equal to Q R. Same formula we have written here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Otherwise, otherwise, what we can write? P by Q. P by Q equal to P by Q equal to R by S. Also, we can write P by Q equal to R by S. I say we remember the P divided by Q, R divided by S here. The same line we are considering means R by S, P by Q. Also, you can remember. This is also same balance condition only. P S equal to Q R. We can consider. Suppose instead of here we have given P Q R S. We have they have given. We can say that one P S equal to Q R. We can call that one instead of this P Q R S. Is suppose they have given R one, R two, R three. In the problems we will use in the examination, university examination, they are going to give in the form of R one, R two, R three, R. This is also correct only. So simply, what how the what is the equation for the bridge instead of P Q R S? They have used R one, R two, R three, R. The resistances here. Can anyone tell me the formula for the underbalanced condition? Yes. Instead of PQRS, we have replaced that one into R1, R2, R3, R4. Yes, sir. Yes, tell me. Yes, yes, sir. Tell the answer. Balance equation in the form of R1, R2, R3, R4. It is a lika, I saw R1 formula, bold the bold room. My answers R1, R2 is equal to R1, R2, R3. R1, R4 is equal to R1, R2, R3 is equal to R2 into R3. Very good. This is the answer for the under bridge, sorry, balanced condition we are going to use here. No, R1, R4 equal to this. R1 and R4, both opposing resistance here now, means opposite side resistance and R2, R3. See, you don't worry about that one. Here you are considering R1 means the opposite should be R4. That one you have to remember. A, A R3, okay, A R2, hai to be the, nothing to worry about that one. Suppose some people's R1, R2, R3, R4, like that also they will write. Nothing to worry. R1, R4 equal to R2, R3 only. We are going to multiply that factor here. So, Nothing to worry, this R2, R3 replace remains. But R1, opposite side, it should have to connect to the R4 only, it should have to connect here. Any doubts here? This is the final equation. R equal to yes, into P by Q into yes, or R1, R4 equal to R2, R3, and P, Q, P, S equal to Q, R. Any formula you can remember here. Any doubts here? No, sir. No, sir. So will you, I will give some three values. And we have, we have to solve the formulas, this equation, other value. Will you solve this one? Problem? Simple problems. Yes, sir. Put down the formula, this one. P 
PS equal to QR or QR equal to PS, you write down. Otherwise, you write the formula. One more equation you write down. R1, R4 equal to this one formula also you remember. R1, R4 equal to R2, R3. We'll solve the problems now. Okay. So now, what we'll do, we'll go for some applications where we are going to use this Wilson bridge. Actually, for the measurement of uh, motor winding resistance, motor winding resistance measure. And we can use the by the telephone companies where the cable faults are there like that to measure the unknown resistance. We are going to use this Wilson bridge method. We are going to use this one. It has some limitations we are going to call. See, the Wilson bridge, we are going to measure the resistances, but the resistances we have not mentioned that is high resistance, low resistance, or medium resistance. We can say that one few ohms to few mega ohm, we can do that one. But it is a low, high, or medium. What is that one? We don't know about that one. So especially, we'll discuss about that one for low resistance measurement here. This, this one, it is not applicable for the low resistance because we are having some contacts are there. That is nothing but from PQ, P2, yes, we are connecting here. And R to yes, we are connecting. Galvanometer connecting LEDs we are using. And contacts we are using. Some pins we are using here. Now. So each thing, it has some resistance over there. So it will affect low resistance means very small value we have to measure. But we are the contact has some resistance. Lead has some resistance. It will cause an error over there. We will not get the exact value what is the required over there. Because of contact resistances and lead resistance. So it is not applicable for the Wilson bridge, low, low resistance to measure. That for that reason only, the Kelvin has derived one more circuit for the measurement of low resistance. See, for low resistance measurement, the resistance of the lead and contact becomes significant, becomes significant and introduces an error and introduces an error here. Just a minute, one student is having the exam. Okay, so the resistance of lead and contact becomes significant and introduces error here. So the error caused by the leads may be corrected. Some leads means that is very small resistance is there, that one we can correct. But the contact resistance is high. We cannot correct that contact resistance. So that one only they are telling the error occurred or caused by the LEDs may be corrected fairly well, but contact resistance presents a source of uncertainty that is difficult to overcome or difficult to correct that one. Therefore, a Kelvin double bridge is generally prepared for the low resistance value. So you have to say that one. The Whitson bridge is not suitable for the low resistance measurement because of lead and contact resistance here now. Okay, it is not suitable for the low for that. Next, we'll go for the high resistance. If we are going to apply the high resistance value, then what will happen? The galvanometer will be insensitive. The galvanometer will be insensitive. Because of the high resistance, the temperature may vary over there. So these many problems will occur for that reason also, it is not suitable for the high resistance also. For high resistance measurement, galvanometer is insensitive. Inaccuracy may cause also be introduced on account of leakage over insulation over there. In leakage, because of high resistance, the insulin leakage will be start to find the another path over there. So leakage will be introduced over the insulation of the bridge arms when the measuring is measuring very high resistance. And even the rise in temperature causes change in the value of resistance. The temperature will change, then the resistance value will also changes over there. So for that reason, we can say that one, it is not suitable for the high resistance value. So the Whitson bridge is not suitable for the high, not suitable for the medium, sorry, not suitable for the low, then it is suitable for medium, not high, not low, but in between whatever the resistance is there, it is suitable over there. So the use of Whitson bridge is limited to the measurement of resistance ranging from 
few ohms to few mega ohm here now it is not suitable for the high resistance it is not suitable for the low resistance but medium resistance it is suitable here now any doubts here any doubts any doubts no sir no, okay take a problem then take this problem all of you in a wilson bridge in a wilson bridge r1 equal to 100 ohm r2 equal to 1000 ohm r3 equal to 400 ohm r3 equal to 400 ohm if if its galvanometer shows zero deflection if its galvanometer shows zero deflection then then determine the value of resistance r4 determine the value of resistance r4 to find this problem all of you write the given data Yes. All of you have written the given data here. What you have to do? You write R one is given, R two is given, R three is given. You apply the formula and find out that one. Directly you apply the formula and calculate yes. R four. Yes. Sir. Huh? Four thousand two. Four thousand. Any other answers? Any other answers? No. Sir. No. Rule number one. Rule number one. Rule number one. I'm asking. I'll put absent. Rule number one will be absent for today. If you are not ready to reply, then you will be absent. Sonali, rule number three. Sir, have you solved the problem? Did you solve the problem? Reply, Sonali. I am asking to you only. Okay, leave this one. This one I will explain. And next problem you have to solve. Okay, see a very simple. The R one is given, R two is given, R three is given. You have to find out the R four here. First, what you have to do? You have to draw the circuit diagram first. You have to draw the circuit diagram. You have to draw here now, and you have to write the given data. Given data is nothing but R one equal to hundred, R two equal to thousand, R three equal to four hundred, and R four equal to like this. You have to write the given. Data. Formula I have to write here. P equal to R one, whatever I told that one R one R four equal to R two R three. We know the formula already. R one R two equal to R one R four equal to R one R four equal to R two R three. Yes. So here R one is given. Sorry, R one R three, na R two R three. R one is given. R two is given, R three is given. We have to identify R four value here now. 
So you R4 equal to R4 equal to you substitute R2 R3 R2 R3 divided by R1 divided by R1 here. Substitute here now R2 equal to 1000, R3 equal to 400. That is called 4000 divided by 100 here now. 4 into 1000, how much it is? 4000, that is called 4 kilo ohm is the correct answer here now. Very simple is there. If you know the formula, this problem is very simple. R4 equal to R2, R3 divided by R1, 1000 into 400 divided by 100. This two zero, this two zero will get cancelled. Four into two thousand, how much it is? Four thousand ohm. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Next problem. All of you note down. You have to solve this problem. I am not going to solve this one. All of you solve this problem here. What will the what will be the value of R when the Wilson network is balanced condition? Following values are given here. R1 is given, R2 is given, R3 is given, R4 is given. But in the R3 value, they have used one R value they have given here. Now. This one we have to identify. This R value you have to identify. Same formula you have to use. R1, R4 equal to R2, R3. Substitute karo. Or rearrange the equation. Substitute. Find the value of R equal to R equal to how much you calculate it. All of you solve this one. I will ask rule number wise. You have to tell the answer. Don't tell me. Now you don't tell the answer. When I will ask, you have to tell all the people. You have to tell the answers. If your solution is over, you can raise your hand. If your solution is over, you raise your hand. I told, I will ask rule number wise, you have to give the answer. Remember that. Rule number 14 over. Other people's rule number one. Rule number three. 13 is also over. Rule number three. Sonali Chavan. Rule number five. Namrata. Rule number five. Namrata Godke. At least try to give the reply, otherwise I'll put up center. Huh? Rule number one, three, five. One, three, five. Sir, calculate. Calculate kar right. Hey, okay. so the reply to there and at least fit. Rule number seven. Seema? Calculate, sir. We are calculating. Eight. Hello? Yes. Calculating, sir. Okay, 10. Rule number 10, Anisha. 
calculate sir still you are calculating okay monica roll number 12 so calculate kare okay 13 14 already done uh, 16 nilesh calculate kar raha hu sir okay 18 shantanu calculation chalu sir 21 jagadish 20 vinayak calculate kar raha hu sir 21 jagdish 21 upset 25 khandekar Twenty-five. Sir, हाँ करते calculate करते sir. करतो आप अभी करने वाले हैं Complete it past. Number twenty-six. Rupesh. Sir, calculate चालू है. Okay. Stress. Yes, sir. Hmm. What is the answer? क्या है sir? What is the answer? I don't know, sir. Why? What is the problem then? Sreyas Kulkarni. It's a very simple problem. Here R1 is given you substitute here. R4 is given you substitute here. R3 you substitute here. R2 you substitute here. After substituting value, you can rearrange the equation and uh, separate the formula for R. We get the answer. A B malum name again. Sreyas, you are doing the calculation or not? Sreyas Kulkarni. Yes, sir. Do the calculation. Roll number 28. Harshavardhan. Mohite. 28%. Sagar Patil. Yes, sir. Complete. Okay. Completed. What is the answer? 225. 225 or 625? Okay. You will check that one. 225, no? your answer. Okay. Veracity. Okay, sir. What is the answer? 225 ohm. 225 ohm. 32 okay, na? Uh, 33. Santosh. Yes, sir. What is your answer? 225 ohm. 235. 225 ohm. 225, okay. 35 Tanmay. Yes. Sir, answer is 225 ohm. Okay, okay, okay. All of you are telling that one 225. It is a correct answer actually. The R equal to 625 minus 400 because it is a here uh, 400. That is nothing but uh, 225 only you are going to get. I think that is correct answer. Rule number 13 and 14. What is your answer? 225. 225 is correct answer. Okay. See here, I will clear all the things. I will show the answer now. The given parameters you have to write same as R equal to R1 equal to 500, R2 equal to 800, R3 equal to R plus 400, and R4 equal to 1000. And you know the formula of that for the balanced condition that is called R1, R4 equal to R2, R3. Or R1 divided by R3 equal to R2 divided by R4 also you can use here now. Any formula from this one, we have changed this one. This one only we are going to consider. Substitute R1 equal to 500 here. So where is that R3 equal to here? R3 equal to R plus 400 we have to use here. No? So R3 ko humne formula set karne ka first. R3 equal to R1 R4 divided by R2. Substitute here R plus R3 equal to R plus 400. R1 equal to 500. R4 equal to 1000 divided by r2 equal to 800 here so this uh, 5 and this 2 this 2 gets cancelled 5000 divided by 8 is nothing but 625 we are going to get 
So R plus 400 equal to 625. When this plus 400 will shift into RHS side, it will become minus 400. So 625 minus 400 equal to 225 is the correct answer. Like these simple problems we are going to get in the main examination. They may get, they are going to give the value or they are going to give the circuits like this and some values they are going to give for that. We have to calculate this value here. Okay. So simple type they are going to give. It may be R plus 400, R minus 400, or here they can ask that one X plus 800 like that. They can ask the different problems. All of you practice this type of problems here. Now it completes the widths and bridge. So we'll go for the next that is called Kelvin double bridge. We are going to consider here. See here. For the widths and bridge, it has some limitations that it is not suitable. Widths and bridge is not suitable for the medium, sorry, low value of resistances. So to identify the low value of the resistance, the Kelvin has derived one bridge that is called the name came Kelvin double bridge. Why the double bridge is there means previously we were using PQRS, but it has one more bridge inside that bridge that is called PQ12 arms extra. We are going to use that one here. So for that reason, this act as one bridge and from here to here, it act as another bridge. For that reason, Kelvin double bridge, we are going to call that one. To identify the low resistances, we are going to use this circuit we are going to use here. Okay. So here, the outer arms, we are going to call this one P and Q and this P and Q resistances are lower arms. We are going to call that one here. This small P, Q are lower arms of the bridge and the capital P K and Q are the outer arms we are going to call. So the R is nothing but unknown resistance and yes, we are going to call as standard resistance here. Now this R, small R is there. This is, that is the contact resistance, whatever we are going to use here now. That one also we are considering here. So then only the error will not get, we'll get the exact value here. We'll get the exact value here. So the first ratio arms is P and Q. This capital P and Q are the first ratio arm. The second set of ratio arms are small P and Q here now. Is used to connect the galvanometer here now. To connect the galvanometer, we are going to use here now. To a point C here now. We have D and C, we have connected a point here. At the appropriate potential between points M and N to eliminate the effect of connecting leads of the resistance R between the unknown resistance R and the standard resistance here. Now to eliminate the unknown effect of the contact or lead resistance, we have connected M and N, one small resistance we have used that is called R here now. So to set the current, we are using this variable resistance also. This S is standard resistance, this R is unknown resistance, this one we are considering here. This For this value, we have to identify the formula here. Now. So next, what we have to do? So just a minute, I will make this one as little bit bigger. here. So the ratio P by Q is made equal to P by Q. Here. We are going to make this P by Q equal to this P by Q. Then the potential difference across this equal to this, then the bridge is said to be balanced. We are going to call that one here. So under balanced condition, there is no current through the galvanometer. Current flowing through this one will become zero under the balanced condition, which means that the voltage drop between the a and D is nothing but EAD we are going to call it. EAD we are going to call it is equal to voltage drop across this EAD. This equal to voltage drop across EAMC here now. This one we are going to call. This voltage drop equal to this voltage drop. Then the bridge is said to be balanced here now between A and C we are going to call. Now what we have to do, we have to calculate the voltage drop across point A to D here now. Point A to D we are going to consider. Under this balanced condition, what will happen? This is one parallel branch. This is one parallel batch we are going to consider. On that condition, EAD equal to P divided by P plus Q. P 
P divided by P plus Q. Whatever the formula we have received by uh, current formula, then we have substituted I1 value. So that is P divided by P by Q will get the value plus into, into this E A B. Where is the A B here? A to B we are going to consider here. Voltage drop across this one. This equal to this one we are writing here into E A D equal to P by Q E A B that one. So E A B we can write here now how we have to write E A B formula. This is very complicated circuit for that reason we have separated that E A D E A B we have directly written here now. So E A B is nothing but see here the current flowing through this one here the R we are going to consider that is called I. I I will take outside same current next R plus plus this one here two parallel paths we are going to get here. One is P plus Q, another one is R here. P and Q, these two are in series. So P plus Q we have to consider. And this is R is one resistance here. Now, if two resistances R1 and R2 are connected in parallel means what is the formula? Two resistances are connected in parallel means what is the formula? R1, R2 divided by R1 plus R2 only will write. Yes. yes. So P plus Q, these two are in series. In is parallel with R. So P plus Q into R, that is P plus Q into R divided by P plus Q plus R. Here. We have written here now. Next, that will come, current will come here and next it will flow through this one here. So plus yes, we are going to call it. R plus yes, P plus Q into R divided by P plus Q plus R. Here. That is one part is over now. E A D is over. Next, we have to calculate that is E a M C we have to calculate here now. E A M C we have to calculate here. Now. E A M C equal to from here to here we have to calculate. Next from here to here we have to calculate here now. Like this, this circle only we have to calculate here. We'll start here now. The current I will start here now. R I will write R as it is plus P divided by P by Q here now. If the current flowing through this one will be same under the balance condition. P divided by P plus Q into this whole circle. What it is nothing but these two are, it has two, these two resistances are in series and this is in parallel here now. So into P plus Q into R divided by P plus Q plus R here. So we have calculated the formulas for EAD and EAMC here now. EAMC here now. So EAD is equal, is equal the voltage drop across EMC here. Now both we are equating this equation and this one here. Now what we'll get, I will write this EAD P divided by P plus Q will write here as it is. And EAB term, I will write this one I into R plus S yes plus PQ P plus Q into R divided by P plus Q plus R equal to this EAMC. I will write here now I R plus P by Q P, P divided by P plus Q into P plus Q plus into R divided by P plus Q plus R here now. By rearranging this equation here, I, I get canceled here now. Next here, R is there. Here, R into this one, you multiply this one and take the R common and rearranging the equation, what we'll get? We will get the final, the unknown resistance value, resistance value that is called R equal to P by Q into S, R equal to P by Q into S. Remember this formula here now plus QR divided by P plus Q, P plus Q plus R, P by Q minus P by Q here now. So very starting, we have taken one sentence here now. See here, the ratio R P by Q is made equal to P by Q here. Now. If this small P by Q equal to capital P by Q here now, this is minus sign is that here now. So one by two minus one by two, how much it is? 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2. What is the value? I'm asking to you people only. 2 by 4 minus 2 by 4. Or 2 minus 2. What is the answer? 0. 0. zero? So this answer is 0. 0 into multiplication of anything. What is the answer? 
zero. So this complete term will become zero means what is the value left here now? R equal to P by Q into S. That is nothing but P S equal to Q R only. It is nothing but yes, P S equal to Q R only. You can compare with Wilson Bridge circuit. This one only we have identified. Same value we have got over there also. P S equal to Q R only. Yes. Yes, sir. this is the equation for the balanced condition before comparing these two equals are ratios are making zero here no actual formula if the outer arm ratio and lower arm ratio values they are given means we have to use this formula complete formula you use otherwise if p by q equal to p by q they have made this one they have mentioned in the equation problem that the outer arm ratio is equal to the lower arm ratio then you have to directly use the Wilson bridge formula only we have to use so Wilson bridge formula only we can use that one both the formulas these two you note down this formula you note it down tomorrow we'll solve problems on this problem these two equations here ye dono equation note down karke rakho all of you note down these two equations and in the next class we'll take problems on this one here okay i'll stop here only We will continue in the next class.